Hello everyone. In this tutorial we explain how to install Arduino in Linux. We are using Ubuntu 22.04. However, everything explained in this tutorial can be used for other versions of Ubuntu. The first step is to download the program. There are two approaches for doing that. You can simply Google Arduino download and you can click over here or you can directly enter this link in your web browser. Then over here you need to select the proper source file and here it is this one over here app image 64 bits click over here then you can donate if you want i will just download and i will not enter my email address however you can fill in your email address and you can select these options if you want just download okay so where is this file after the download process is completed. Well, the file is located over here. Here it is. In the step number two, we need to create an installation directory. We need to copy the file and we need to configure the setup files. The first step is to open a terminal. I will resize this terminal and this manual over here such that you can see what I'm typing and such that you can follow the manual. Okay, let's see where we are. We are in the home folder. Over here I will create a directory called Arduino. However, you can also install Arduino in some other directory. It's your own choice. To create a source directory, I will type make directory Arduino. Here it is. Next, we need to copy the source file, that is the downloaded file that's located in our downloads folder, to our newly created folder Arduino. How to do that? Well, the first step is to properly memorize or write it down, or you can simply copy and paste the name of the file. Here it is. This is very important. Next, to copy the file, you need to execute this command. This command will, will perform the following. It will copy the file, and here's the path of the file. The file is located in the downloads folder, and here is the name of the file to the newly created Arduino folder. For those of you who are not familiar with the Linux terminal, this symbol tilde is the shortcut for the home directory. And this is our home directory. So when I type tilde, I'm actually typing this. And this is a shortcut. So again, to copy, you need to enter the source path. Here it is. And you need to enter the destination folder. Again, this name of the file should precisely match the name of the file over here in the downloads folder. Okay, so let's execute this and let's make sure that we have properly copied the file. To do that, let's move to our Arduino folder and let's type lsl to see the file. Here it is. Perfect. Next, we need to make sure that this file can be executed. To do that, we first need to execute these two commands. You need to enter your password and press enter. And after that, you need to install Fuse. Okay, as you can see over here, in my case, Fuse is already installed. However, in your case, you will see the installation progress. Let's now type LSL once more. And let's see the permissions over here. We can see that we can read and write, read and write and read, depending on the group. However, we cannot execute this file. To make this file to be executable, we need to change the permissions over here. And to do that, we need to run this command. What I'm doing over here, I'm using the command chmod plus x means that I will add the 
executive permission. That is, I will be able to execute this file and I'm specifying the name of the file and that's it. How to execute the file? Very simple. We will type the following. Let me explain this command. We enter dot, then this symbol and the name of the file. In this way, we are executing the file. Press enter and you will see that something is happening over here and voila, here, here is our Arduino. Perfect. Although we are able to start Arduino, we still didn't properly configure it. And you will see shortly that we need to make several adjustments before we can actually upload our code. Let's write the Hello World program. Here it is. Over here, I'm starting my serial and I'm printing Hello World message. Attach your Arduino board to the computer. Then, here, click on Tools. Select the port. Then, click on Tools and select the board. In my case, I'm using Arduino Uno. Okay, let's now try to verify the code. Perfect. And let's try to upload the code. Aha, uh -huh. so there is an issue. You'll see this error. This message actually means that we cannot read or write to our USB port. That is, we cannot read or write code from our board. So how to solve this issue? First, close Arduino. You don't need to save this program since we will enter it later on. Okay. We need to set the proper permission rights for our USB port. First of all, let's make sure that the USB port can be recognized. You need to type this. And you should see this. Good. This means that our terminal is able to see our USB port. Then you need to type this command sudo user mode, then ag dial out and your username. In my case, the username is Alexander, however, in your case, the username will be different. If you're not sure about your username, let me show you how to figure out your username before you actually run this command. Who am I? Just type this and you will see your username. In my case, it's Alexander. Okay, so let's go back and let's type this command. Oops, I made an error here. Okay, good. Then, over here, you can see that we cannot read or write to this device. To set the proper permissions, we need to run this command. sudo chmod a plus rv. rv means read and write, and this is our device. That's it. Okay, let's now repeat the command and let's see. Aha, uh -huh. I can read and write, read and write, read and write. Perfect. Next, let's start Arduino again. We need to execute this command. And let's write the Hello World program once more. I will simply copy and paste it from here. Okay, let's now verify. Of course, you need to make sure that the port is selected over here and you need to make sure that the board is selected. Okay, let's now verify. Perfect, and let's upload. And let's hope that everything will be fine. Good, done uploading. Let's see the actual effect of this code. Click on Tools and open serial monitor and let's see what will happen and you will see over here hello world hello world let's try to change this message for example i am working let's upload again let's see what will happen and you can see that the message has changed perfect this means that we can upload the code to our board and that the usb port is properly properly working Let's close the main Arduino window. 
don't save this code. Every time you want to run Arduino, you will need to open a terminal and then you need to go to this folder and in this folder you actually need to execute this command. And this might be a tedious task. However, we can ease this launch process by creating a shortcut such that you can click over here and you can simply search for Arduino and Arduino will show. Let me teach you how to do that. Let us first install gEditor. I like gEdit a lot since it's a very convenient program for simply editing and creating files. Okay, the next step is to go to this folder. The path of the folder is home.localshareapplications. This dot means over here that local is a hidden folder. And inside of this folder, we will create the file called arduino.desktop and we will type this okay this means that this will be a desktop entry shortcut it will be application this is the name and over here I specified the version number however you can change this version number as you wish and note what's written over here this is the path to our executable file it's inside of the home, my username, Arduino folder we just created, and here's the file. And that's it. Now you can save this file, you can close this, and let's continue. So let's test our shortcut. Click over here, click Arduino, and here it is. And click here, and let's see. After some time, our Arduino program will pop up. And that's it.